Hello, and welcome back to A Closer Walk. I'm Irving Kimball, and I'm your host uh, for our Experiencing God series. And today we're going to be uh, on Unit 4, Day 4. Uh, and we want to uh, ask that you would turn in your, in your books, your member books, to page 78, and uh, Youth Edition to page 102. Today we're going to be talking about God invites you to join Him. Our memory verse is John 17, 21. And Jesus said, Whosoever has my commands and obeys them, he is the one who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father. And I too will love him and show myself to him. When you see the Father at work around you, that is your invitation to adjust your life <laughs> to join him in that work. When God is up to something, that's an invitation to you. Now, all we have to do is recognize that God is up to it, and then that's an invitation. You don't have to wait for somebody to ask you to get involved. That's God asking you to get involved. God invites you to become involved with him in his work. He's not inviting you and asking you to come up with a new work. He just wants you to join him in what he's already doing. Because you see, there's a fundamental principle here, and that is that God always works through people. Uh, God's activity in the world is always involves people. Uh, when he got ready to judge the world, uh, he used Noah uh, to build the ark and to be a part of that process. Uh, and it all came through him. When he got ready to build a nation that he might call his own, the nation of Israel, he used Abraham and and got Abraham, and Abraham joined him. And through those experiences with, uh, with God, Abraham was the father of many nations. When he got ready to deliver his people from bondage, he used Moses. And uh, reluctantly as he was, Moses uh, joined God uh, at the burning bush and became involved in what God was doing uh, and made a difference that impacted eternity. And then when he got ready to build a church, he involved the, the 12 apostles uh, that they might be the instruments that he used in the world to bring about his plan. He always involves people. And when he got ready to spread the gospel uh, to the Gentiles, he used the apostle Paul. Uh, through all of his experiences and all of the, the challenges that he had and, and even his persecution of the church, God used him as the one to bring about the gospel to the Gentile world. And here's something else that I want to press upon you that I want to help you to see something here. And that is, when God is about to do something, he takes the initiative to involve his servants. <laughs> you see, Amos 3, 7 tells us something very profound. It said, the sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plans to his servants, the prophets. God is up to something. And when God is up to something, he always takes the initiative to involve his people. He wants to involve you in what he's doing. And he has taken the initiative. You don't have to be the star. He is. He's already started something to where he will reveal uh, himself. And that's your invitation. You see, God's revelation is your invitation. John 5, 17, and verses, uh, verse 19 and 20 also says, My father is always at work to this day, and I too am working. I tell you the truth. The son can do nothing by himself. He can only do what he sees his father doing. Because whatever the father does, the son does that also. For the father loves the son and shows him all he does. You see that the process that Jesus gives us an example of getting involved with God is that we recognize God is always at work in his plan. It's his work even up to this very day. And that if he's working, then he invites us to join him and be working too. 
And Jesus let us know that uh, since he can do nothing by himself, then we can do nothing by ourselves. He waited on the Father, and the Father caused him, gave him an invitation to join him in what he was doing. God gives us an invitation to join him in what he's doing. See, and whatever the Father is doing, the, father, the Son is doing. The Son is not doing something different than the Father. The Father and the Son are doing the same things. God and His servants, God wants His servants to be doing what He's doing. And as we're doing what He's doing, then we're all doing the same thing. And that's when we experience God in a very intimate and profound way. For the Father loves the Son and shows Him all that He does. God loves us to the point where He always shows us what He's doing. He's not going to not show us. He's not going to hold anything back. He wants you to know what he's doing so that you can be a part of doing his will. And that's how we get to experience God. See, you must uh, have a intimate love relationship with him in order to see what he's doing. And then you must realize that God has to open your spiritual eyes so that you can see what he's doing. So if you're, if you're having a, a time saying, okay, I don't really know what God, I can't see what God is doing, then ask him. Say, Lord, just open my eyes so that I can see what you're doing. And then pay attention because he will reveal to you what he's doing. Because his desire, his, he's taking the initiative to get you involved in what he's up to today. That's why you're even looking at this, uh, at this video. He calls you to do that. So God is, is taking the initiative to invite you to join him. So in summary today, we want to just sum up what we talked about today. There are four things. Well, number one, God is at work in the world, uh, even till now. And then number two, God takes the initiative to involve you in his work. Then number three, God takes the initiative to open your spiritual eyes so that you can see what he's doing. And then lastly, when God lets you see the Father at work around you, that is your invitation to adjust your schedule, <laughs> adjust your life to join him in that work that he just revealed to you. I trust that you are well on your journey to experiencing God. I'm excited about what God is doing uh, in your life. I pray that you are too. And I'd like to ask if you would just uh, uh, join in and, and send us a, an email, a blog, or visit our Facebook, or, uh, or join us online. Uh, and let us know what's going on in your life. And there are others that are what's going on in their lives as well. We are really excited about the experience of God. And I look forward to seeing you the next time.